So I always wonder who's watching at this time. 6.01. <laughs> Who actually is there? I can't do this anymore with a seething picture. Susanna's fury over prima donna peers. Oh, my children weren't happy about that. But you know where that My sons all run me up and went, Daddy, Daddy, are you being a prima donna again? Yeah. Are you upsetting poor Susanna again? And you had to admit you were. And you know who said, I can't do this anymore? That was your quote. <laughs> That wasn't even my quote. Yeah, and in fact, I was the one who called myself a prima donna. I know. <laughs> Just like to point out, I went to the dentist yesterday. Yeah. And the dentist said, you've been grinding your teeth mm. <laughs> and I need to fit you with a mouth guard. No. And then she followed up with, do you work in a stressful environment? <laughs> yeah. You know what also causes grinding of teeth, don't you? Anything you say? No, it's, it's, your, it's your cocaine habit. Um, what are you...? Well, I wanted to say it. She's a problem. She has a problem. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> George Good has just tweeted, of course we love Susanna oh, Reid, the darling you. of Good Morning Britain oh. and one hot mama. Although I do wish she, she could shut Piers up sometimes. Perhaps he'd like a little tickle from her. Maybe that would work. Well, I'm prepared to try, George. Um, <laughs> Not tickling you huh? in a million years. George thinks that might be the answer. Might improve your popularity. I actually do. Oh. I actually do. I find the heart the most soothing thing. Excuse me. I, I have no idea who you are or why you're here. <laughs> but uh, you're an angel. You, you're an angel beautiful... sent from heaven. Nobody mentioned there'd be a gigantic harp in the studio. I mean, look. they really... Where are we? Three over here. Here we are, look. look at a that. lovely look. couple. Look, look. look. <laughs> What's going on with the height difference there? <laughs> You're employed because you could start an argument in an empty room. I don't well, think anyone genuinely wants you to come. The good down. news is until the result of the um, of the poll, I can carry on being as noisy as I like. Although men are useless, although men have to be vilified, although men have to be basically eradicated from planet Earth because we're all so god awful. Can I just, actually, can I just how would you women you're not open actually, your cans? How would you women open your cans of free Bentos without people like me? Is it open? Yeah, hold on. I want to see it open. open. I want to see it's it open. It's not open, is it? <laughs> oh, sorry. You're right. <laughs> Having a little apple and peanut butter. Eat cheese at night when you're having to get up early. No, because it gives you bad dreams. It does oh give you funny dreams. Last night, I was in a war zone. I'm not kidding you. I literally had about an hour of sleep last night. Oh, man. I was in a war zone. I don't know what had been going on yesterday that would put me in that sort of mood, but it was, uh, ooh. Yeah. Can we all dance like peers? <laughs> you got a bump and grind. Can't do it. Come up in there, bump and grind. <laughs> but frankly, after this opening hour, your nicknames will be bump and grind. We have some singing 50. Come on, Finny. <laughs> Yo, Shorty, it's your birthday. <laughs> Why are you singing? Why are we only hearing the music? <laughs> he uses some rude words, Piers, and we can't broadcast them at the Club. Class six. Number one on the wish list for your women, who are sophisticated, intelligent. wealthy, intelligent women, was... It was Simon Cow, and now it's oh, Piers Morgan. Oh, wait a minute, it wait a was, minute. It wait was a minute. Simon Cow. You mean it used to be Simon Cow? Yes. And now... And now... It's Piers yeah. Morgan. So, Thank you, oh, Lisa. Lisa. And there's only one thing to say to that. <laughs> the world's gone. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a daring outfit, you know, and I admire the courage, I do. And you get or, the whole country talking. Or I just rolled out of bed and I That is air. my theory, yeah. Yeah. Is it linked to your no longer lack uh, single status? Some, I, I just said yesterday, you don't know. Mm. You don't know. Well, why would you raise the spectre status? of you being a But somebody's kid? raised the spectre that this might be a maternity dress. <laughs> <laughs> they've got a point, to be honest. The results were, right, the minimum you can score on this test is zero. The maximum you can score is 33. And which range, if you're, if you're high, are you a psychopath? If you are high, you are high on the psychopathic spectrum. No one's diagnosing anything right. here, Piers. It's okay. all on the psychopathic spectrum. Susanna, you were seven out of 33. So she's really not a psychopath. Very, very low. You have never been so pleased to do badly on a test. Oh, you're okay. so right. 
appears. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Here we go. The big reveal. Go on. 19 out of 33, right. which is bang in the middle I'm of I'm a semi psycho. Average. You get what you want in the end. If you, if you believe in things passionately enough, <laughs> fight for them, people. That is the message of this morning. There we go. That's motivation. You want a new manager, if you want a toaster, if you want things in life. You want to run the marathon. Show some passion. Go out and do it. Yeah. If you want to read the news headlines... Yeah, I'd quite like to read the news headlines. It's camera three. I'm very grateful to Radio Times. I, I was furious at coming 19th. I'm now very, very grateful that actually I'm the only breakfast TV person who's considered hot. So, uh, I've just been reading a column in the Daily Telegraph today by one of their columnists. Do you have a work spouse? More importantly, does your spouse have a work spouse? If the answer is yes, this week brings dual relief. The kids are dropped off at school, the husband and wife drops themselves off at work, while their closet colleague of the opposite sex will take over what's been this face for long and... I think it's closest... Closest to colleague. Closest yeah, closet yeah. colleague. Their closet That's colleague. A slightly different colleague. I'm lucky enough, says this columnist, to have a more formidable work wife than most, Susanna Reid. Oh, who is this columnist? It's my wife. Pray tell. Celia, like some top-level baby nurse who whisks the squawking infant away while you're still asleep, the Good Morning Britain presenter gets custody of my husband, Piers Morgan, circa 5am, only returning him to his own wife later that morning when, worn out from the shrieking and tantrums, he gets put down for a very long nap. <laughs> Do you? How she manages to make it through those testing early hours without losing her sanity, I don't know. But Reid assures me that the key is, quotes, looking at peers in much the same way as people do their nephews and nieces before they have children themselves. You can have fun, argue, spar, persuade, cajole, shout, advise, be wound up and enjoy the sheer force of his mini-hurricane energy, but then you can hand him back. She can, says my wife, of course. But must she? Yes! <laughs>